The man who represented Mississippi for nearly half a century has passed away. Representatives for U.S. Senator Thad Cochran tell us he died peacefully this morning in Oxford. Thank you for joining us. I'm Terrence Friday. And I'm Margaret Ann Carter. Here's a look back at his life, legacy, and impact. One thing we want to be sure we have in a United States senator is someone who can vote his convictions and vote the way the people of Mississippi believe. At 81 years old, Senator Thad Cochran left his mark on the sands of time. Representing his birth state of Mississippi, he made history along the way. He's recognized as one of the longest serving senators in the United States. Senator Cochran served three terms in the House of Representatives before being elected to the Senate back in 1978. That win made him the first Republican to win a statewide election in Mississippi in more than 100 years. I'm truly grateful for the opportunity to serve here representing Mississippi. Um, but my advice to others who are interested in a career in politics is probably don't concentrate too early on getting in good with everybody. You have to be able to listen well to and pay attention. During his time in office, he helped bring in billions of dollars to help Mississippians. Specifically, he led a mission to restore the Mississippi Gulf Coast after the widespread damage from Hurricane Katrina. I leave the Senate with their confidence because of this effort to live up to these expectations. Senator Cochran resigned from his position in April of last year. His supporters say his life and legacy will live on for many years to come. Terrence Friday, WJTV 12. One of Senator Cochran's legacies stands in the heart of downtown Jackson. Just last year, the federal courthouse now named in his honor has been now changed. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris is live there with reaction on his passing. Gerald? With every conversation I have with those who knew or served with Senator Thad Cochran, they all agree that he is indeed a statesman. Now, for 45 years, he has served within the United States Congress, first starting in the House and ending in the Senate as chair of the powerful Senate Appropriations Committee. He has served the state of Mississippi and garnered respect from both Democrats and Republicans. Before his tenures in our nation's capital, Insurance Commissioner Mike Cheney knew him as a friend. Just full of grace, a true statesman, and the things that he did, and he would often say, what do you need in the community? He uh, could work with both sides of the aisle. He knew how to run government and uh, how to do what the people needed to have doing. He was pragmatic about the fact that uh, you move the country forward with being kind and doing the right thing. Governor Phil Bryan is also sending his condolences. He released this statement saying, Mississippi and our nation have lost a true statesman in Thad Cochran. He was a legend in the United States Senate where he worked tirelessly to move his state and country forward. He was one of our longest serving senators and his influence can be felt in every corner of Mississippi. Now the flag here at the United States Courthouse, which bears his name, is flying at half staff. We, we got reaction from our current senator, Senator Th uh, Roger Wicker and Senator Cindy Hyde Smith, who is now in his seat. Well, that reaction will come up at five. Reporting in downtown Jackson, Gerald Harris, WJTV 12. All right, thank you, Gerald. And amongst those tributes pouring in are the current U.S. senators representing this great state. Here's what Senator Cindy Hyde Smith had to say Mississippi has suffered a tremendous loss today. Senator Thad Cochran was an incredible leader and a most respected member of the United States Senate. My colleagues who served with him consistently speak of him with such high regard. He treated everyone with distinction and had a caring and concerned heart for his constituents and the state he so dearly loved. My family and I send our deepest sympathies to his family at this time. Senator Roger Wicker also expressed his condolences he actually had this to say. Gail and I were saddened to learn this morning of the passing of our friend and my former colleague, Thad Cochran. He's been a friend of mine uh, since 1972. He's one of the first uh, Republican candidates in Mississippi that I campaigned for and believed in. And uh, the fact that I've been able to support him uh, and work with him as a colleague um, in, the, in the past uh, few decades has been very special to me. Thad um, did a lot for our state and for our nation. Um, 
he served as a naval officer. Uh, he was an outstanding student at the top of his class. And when he came to Congress, he quickly rose to the top of leadership positions. A lot of people forget that he was an elected member of the Republican leadership for a time in the United States Senate. Um, even though he was um, a, a loyal and partisan Republican, he could always reach across the aisle, as you have to do in the United States Senate with the 60 days. Such kind words there, but warm feelings towards the newly lost senator aren't limited to here in the Magnolia State. Senator Thad Cochran even gained presidential condolences. Today, President Donald Trump took to Twitter saying, very sad to hear the news on the passing of my friend, Senator Thad Cochran. He was a real senator with incredible values, even flew back to Senate from Mississippi for important health care vote when he was desperately ill. Thad never let our country or me down. And famous cartoonist Marshall Ramsey also provided a sketch honoring the late senator. It has already been shared on social media multiple times. Beautiful sketch there, as always. Senator Thad Cochran's impact has been widespread over his historic career. Yes, it has. WJTV 12's Marcus James is now in the newsroom with reaction from a man who says he personally impacted his life. Marcus? Okay, we'll check back in with Marcus a little bit later, but he actually spoke with Don Evans, who is a local attorney in the area. He says that he's known the senator for many years, and throughout those years, he's maintained a great friendship with him. He says Senator Cochran is a giving man who's had an impact on everyone that he met. We met with him today to get a little bit of his words on his passing. I've been knowing Thad Cochran ever since I've been practicing law here in Jackson. Uh, his office was close to mine, and he was a real good friend, and I... I've helped him over the years, and as far as I can tell, he was, was a superb uh, statesman. Um, he's always good for Mississippi, and I never, I never really saw anything wrong that you could say about Thad Cochran. And I also spoke with other people who shared personal stories about how Senator Thad Cochran enriched their lives. We will hear from them, and Marcus will have that for you in our later shows. All across the state, flags are being lowered at half-staff to honor Senator Thad Cochran. Funeral arrangements for the late senator have not been announced, but we will be sure to let you know once they are. One of the things that the late Senator Thad Cochran is known for is his ability and willingness to work across party lines. He sure was. One president, day congressman, says that quality in Cochran should be credited for much of Mississippi's success. Well, absolutely. Uh, he did not run away from diversity and inclusion. Uh, Mississippi has a significant minority population. Uh, he understood that. And a lot of things that we have in this state uh, is because uh, of his, his work. And I'm uh, one of those who, who saw it personally. And uh, every time we had an opportunity to talk, uh, we talked about how we could work uh, for the good of this state. And uh, he was very easy to work with. All right, hear more for Congressman Thompson in our 5 and 6 o'clock newscasts as well. And it was just over a year ago that Senator Cochran retired from the U.S. Senate. His monumental tribute was actually shared by the GOP party as Cochran bid farewell after more than 45 years in Washington. One thing we want to be sure we have in a United States Senator is someone who can vote his convictions and vote the way the people of Mississippi believe and think. He is the first Republican Senator to represent Mississippi in this century. It is the poorest state in the nation and Cochran has been able to help encourage some growth through creative rural housing and farm bills. Senator Cochran has come a long way from his first job as a car hop at Gunn's Dairy Bar near Jackson, Mississippi. Now he proudly serves the people of his state and helps craft legislation for the entire nation. Senator Thad Cochran has proven himself to be a leader 
and a statesman. The Senate will now proceed to the consideration of S-196. Well, I really think that Mississippi is going to benefit greatly as a result of the action of our committee this morning. This comes at a good time to show everybody that a committee in Washington is working to make life and our environment in Mississippi a lot better. We all know that Washington is filled with loud voices, but Senator Cochran's manner has served our friend and this institution very, very well. The other day I happened to run into one of my friends on the Democratic side and um, he said, well, what are you going to do to us? I said, don't you worry about a thing. We're going to treat you fairly. And he said, oh, I hate to hear that. <laughs> You've ruined my day. They named him the Quiet Persuader. Tad Cochran has been the Quiet Persuader. It's a testimony to the proven record that Senator Cochran has built over 38 years in this chamber. Dad, welcome. Mr. President, welcome back, you. I should thank say. You Good to much. see you. Delighted. You know, the historians will have to judge whether or not you were part of the solution or part of the problem. Like this in Mississippi. A lot of jobs are going to be created as a result of this project. And uh, I'm, I'll be satisfied with the judgment. It reminds me of how important our collective efforts are for the future of our country, our economy, peace in our time, and in helping assure that we make our time here a positive influence over the opportunities that are available for our citizens to enjoy life safe and secure with good leaders, common sense leaders.